Welcome back to Red and Blue. I'm Robert Costa. Current House Minority Leader and the possible next House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, gathered with other Republican members of Congress at the southern border in El Paso, Texas today. McCarthy spent most of his speech going after Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Today, I am calling on the secretary to resign. He cannot and must not remain in that position. If Secretary Mayorkas does not resign, House Republicans will investigate every order, every action, and every failure will determine whether we can begin impeachment inquiry. If Secretary Mayorkas was in charge of any company, he would have been fired by now for the failures of what he has caused. For more on this story, CBS News Homeland Security and Justice reporter Nicole Skanga joins us now. Nicole, thank you for being here. You report deeply on DHS for CBS News. How has the department responded to the House Republican leader this evening? Bob, good to be with you. I just received a response from the Department of Homeland Security from a spokesperson. I'm going to read it to our viewers. It says, Secretary Mayorkas is proud to advance the noble mission of this department, support its extraordinary workforce, and serve the American people. He has no plans to resign. The statement goes on to say that the department will continue work to enforce laws and secure the border, and mentions that uh, the immigration system is outdated and that immigration has not been reformed or overhauled in nearly 40 years. Of course, that a reference to a Reagan-era uh, legislation that passed back in 1986. So here, uh, clearly, the secretary responding within minutes to Leader McCarthy's announcement, saying that he has no plans to step down. Nicole, does that back up? Your, your reporting behind the scenes, he faces a, a very turbulent year should he stay at DHS in 2023. How do you believe the coming months will play out inside DHS? Yeah, and Bob, we should point out this comes after a rocky go with former commissioner of CBP, of course, head of U.S. Border Patrol, Chris Magnus, who recently was forced to resign uh, just weeks ago. And so this is a tough time for the Department of Homeland Security that has faced 2.4 million migrant arrests out the, at the southwest border this past fiscal year. We should point out to our viewers that uh, arrests is different from individuals individuals due to a high rate of recidivism, 27 percent, according to CBP. That means uh, there have been many who have attempted to return to the U.S.-Mexico border after arrest. This is also a department that is grappling with a new deadline when it comes to Title 42, that Trump-era policy uh, that, of course, uh, expelled asylum seekers back into Mexico during the coronavirus pandemic and thereafter. Uh, so this is a department that, you know, is facing a rocky road ahead, uh, you know, given the House uh, majority will be now in GOP lawmakers' hands. But we should also point out uh, that if this impeachment inquiry does move forward, uh, we know that, you know, ultimately it'll go to the Senate. Uh, the Senate, of course, uh, you know, clinched by Democrats uh, just recently. And so, you know, whether or not uh, holding hearings at the border will result in anything, you know, remains to be seen. Uh, talking about immigration reform, of course, there were efforts in 2008 and 2013 uh, to overhaul what both sides of the political aisle have called uh, a very broken immigration system. The secretary himself has referred to it as that. Uh, so perhaps we can expect some more conversations regarding this issue in the days and weeks ahead if, you know, this inquiry moves forward. It's going to be very intriguing, to say the least, to see if a narrow House Republican majority would even have the votes for impeachment. Would moderates like Brian Fitzpatrick of Pennsylvania want to move in that direction with that kind of decision, that will be something we'll have to see play out. But put politics aside for the closing here, Nicole, what's the number one issue policy-wise Americans should be concerned about when it comes to DHS and immigration? What's top of mind on the substance? 
Yeah, I mean, I think right now there are two things that are top of mind. Of course, you see, you know, a, an increase in the number of arrests at the U.S.-Mexico border. There's also been bipartisan pressure on, you know, U.S. Customs and Border Protection to curb, you know, drugs coming across the U.S.-Mexico border in particular. Uh, this is a nation that is grappling with a fentanyl crisis. Now, we have seen efforts to increase the number of officers, 300 new CBP officers and 1,000 and new, uh, you know, processors at the U.S.-Mexico border who are working to address this problem, uh, new scanning technology, uh, passed during that infrastructure bill last year. We'll see what comes of it, Bob. We are keeping track of that here at CBS News. Nicole Skanga, thank you so much, and happy Thanksgiving.